Hi guys, so I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the set at the end of this video. Um, I really really love this set, I think it feels very well made. I really like how they've done it, it feels very nice quality. This set has some really cool features in that you can move the parts about. You don't have to attach them to the stable at all, you can display just this part for example, the back part. Um, yeah. And also the exciting feature that you can add on to this stable as well and basically make it as long as you want. Like, the possibilities are endless with it. In fact, I have just unboxed an extension set that I have bought for this stable, which is the one that came, comes with the white English thoroughbred stallion. So yeah, so that's what it looks like with an extra stall. This one here from the extension set is basically the same as that part there, but just another one to add on to your stable. And you get a different horse with it, which is fun. But yeah, overall, I really, really like this set. I think it's really fun. And I think it lends itself very well to photography because you can just change the setup about so easily. I've noticed that these um, stalls are a lot shorter than 
the ones I think that they normally do, definitely since the the last barn that they did like this. Um, but I don't mind that. I think it's um, nice to have a bit of a change. And I also think these stalls are like a perfect size for ponies, not just horses. And also foals, like this one here. So, like, the ponies can actually see over the side, whereas unlike the old stable, they wouldn't be able to. So, yeah, it is nice to have a bit of, like, a variety, I guess. Also, if you want a set that's super easy to put up, get this one, because this is probably the easiest set I have ever put up. It was, um, extremely easy. Everything just seemed to slot into place really well. For me personally, anyway, I had no problems. Um, I know in comparison, when I built the lakeside house set, um, yeah, no, that set wasn't very easy at all to put up, but this one, yeah, I, I can't see how they could have made it any easier, to be honest. The way everything just slots into place makes it just feel such good quality as well. One thing I kind of like and kind of don't like at the same time is the, the colours of the stable. I love the colour blue, so I do quite like these blue doors. But at the same time, I don't think the pink is overly realistic. And I do quite like realistic sets, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's not a big thing for me. I, it, I actually don't mind it as much as what I thought I would. I also really like the horses that come with this set. This one is... Um, it, well, previously was an exclusive horse that you could only get as an exclusive, but now they've, um, included her in this set. Set models don't have any tags though, so she doesn't have any exclusive tag. And then we also get this beautiful roan, and I've not seen Shrike do many roans, so it is very nice to have this model, I think. She's, yeah, she's a lovely red roan. I, I, I really quite like that mould anyway, so yeah, it's nice to get a nice lovely version of her. And then we also get this little foal, which is on the Tennessee Walker foal, which makes sense because that, that would make this one the mother, because she's Tennessee Walker too. And yeah, I think this one's really adorable too. And then we, we also obviously have this guy but he's technically not from this set you have to buy him separately but i also really like him i will also be putting up a video of just the extension stall part and unboxing of that set with that horse um it might already be up on my channel it depends what order i decide to post these in so yeah i really love the horses that come with this one thing i probably should say actually is a about the packaging, I'm I'm not very keen on the way that they have started to package their some of their sets. Purely because everything is loose in the box and it just doesn't seem very secure. Like everything is literally um free to crash into each other basically. <laughs> and I know Shike stuff is quite hardy. But actually, when I opened this set, there were marks all over the front of the stable. Um, luckily, they were marks I could pretty much get completely off, which was lucky for me. But it did take a lot of time for me to do that. So yeah, that is my only thing I probably don't like about this set, is the packaging. Yeah, no, I, 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 don't, I don't like it when you can... When you move the set around and you can hear all the pieces just scraping against each other. Because this is a fairly pricey set. I did buy mine second hand but it was brand new sealed. I have seen in the newer Shike sets like they wrap a few of their pieces in tissue paper or maybe in paper bags. But I feel like they need to wrap almost everything or almost everything in the box in tissue paper or bags. So yeah, that's the only thing I would change, is the packaging. So yeah, if I had to change something, that would be the only thing. Other than that, the actual set itself is amazing and I wouldn't, wouldn't really fault it. One thing I would probably prefer if, is if um, you could actually physically attach the 
extension parts to the stable because as they are they're just loose you just kind of place them beside um i think it would be in a way better if you could actually like attach them by the kind of walls or maybe the floor to the actual other parts of the stable just because when i think you're either filming or playing around on say carpet they're likely to come apart which isn't so great if you're filming it doesn't matter so much if you're playing obviously i i feel like it's less it'd be less of a problem on a hard floor but i have carpet everywhere in my room so <laughs> but yeah i think that's about everything i wanted to say so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in another one soon have a lovely day bye <laughs>